For the 20th straight month, the U.S. economy lost jobs in August, but the pace of those losses continues to slow. The job market is on the mend. It's going to be a long, painful recovery, but we're headed in the right direction. After the credit crisis erupted last September, monthly job losses quickly deepened, hitting a low of more than 700,000 in January. They've now returned to levels before the panic, and the government says a third of the industries in the country are hiring. This California furniture maker laid off all seven of its employees at the bottom of the recession. And we had to drop, the, drop our staff just down to, to me. Owner Cliff Spencer was left alone to do the carpentry, while his wife Lee took over the bookkeeping. But business is beginning to turn around. 07 and 08 were not profitable years, and it looks like this year will be profitable. So the Spencers have brought back two of their workers. There's more work going on. Contractors are getting busier again. So they're more, it's lifting. But the job market differs sharply depending where you live. In Washington, D.C., where the government is hiring, for every unemployed worker, there's one job posting. But in Houston, that ratio jumps to four to one. In Los Angeles, it's eight to one. In Detroit, the worst hit city in the country, there are 18 people looking for work for every job listing. I've applied for, for hundreds of jobs, literally and I've uh, had three interviews since December. Jonathan Colby was laid off from his job as an architectural projects manager in Florida eight months ago. He now sends out resumes with a Dunkin' Donuts gift card for prospective employers and is offering a small video camera to anyone who helps him land a job. Yes, it is cheesy and it's, it is gimmicky, but it gets people's attention. Whatever it takes. Jonathan is one of five million Americans who have now been out of work six months or more. And that's about one third of those who are unemployed. Jeff. And Anthony, for people like Jonathan and more, this is not just fewer people working, but those who are working are working less hours. Yeah, the average work week is now a little over 33 hours, and it's, you know, close to a record low. That's significant because when business does pick up for employers, they're likely to extend those hours for the workers they do have before they start hiring more people. All right, Anthony Mason tonight. Anthony, thank you. Mm -hmm.